Hi guys, here's Dana on Baby Trailer, and I'm here for the bucket option. And my this video is gonna be the two indicators, and one of that is Calder Channel, the second one is the RSCI. I've got some videos about the RSCI, but I want to show you how it's gonna be working different combinations, different periods, and different markets. So proceed just to see this video, and we just start. Let's start and my classy, classy video with the minimum sums. And uh, here's just the currency payers with the biggest payout. Just beating all of that again and again. But I am, you know, addressing it to somebody, you know, to someone who is just first time seeing my videos. And uh, I am also working for that people. <laughs> <laughs> who are not so tired of me just repeating all of that because here is in binary options it's actually not so many things you know because there is no such a big a theoretical base because there's you're gonna find even more you know materials on the forex trading or the cryptocurrencies and i've been if you are so long with me uh, you may remember that I've been trying, you know, some attempts that I'm going <laughs> to talk about the Forex trading, but I, um, I know how to trade it. I use it, but I am mostly right here just because this is like the blue ocean. And I even got some videos about the cryptocurrencies, but I just not so perfectly perfect over there. So this is just, you know, me talking one thing and showing the different thing here is the Keltner channel and the RSCI and RSCI just repeating all the chart and Keltner channel and I hope you remember that if you've been seeing my videos just giving us some hints how the candles could go back inside of this channel and we are actually so so attentive to the all three lines of this Keltner channel don't forget about that let's start <laughs> right here so we got it i made my bad for a downward movement and it's kind of easy because we are detecting the just the beginning of this tendency yep rsci a little bit flat more flat than i want it to be but anyway with the calendar channel and just the chart it's just perfectly seen we getting downward let's see So look at the RSCI just right now and plus you may see how far and how just in so high position that it was RSCI you know at that chart and of course we were expecting it's going to be some downward chain because it hit it it hit the ceiling you know as much as it could and we done it the first one just ended and it's a problem. So here is kind of obvious too, we are detecting the last candle as orange and we are detecting the RSCIs looking like a little bit getting downward, but look at the Kelvin channel, look at that, it is just showing that we went a little bit upward and we expecting that, let's see. So just as I told you, and in that case, in this strategy, it's kind of hard just to tell you which one of the, these indicators are the key indicator or the main indicator, because it depends on the periods of the RSCI somehow in some strategies, it's so perfectly working. And this period is a little bit not about that. So we are not so perfectly just matching, you know, and repeating, but that's how it actually give us the opportunity to be attentive to the Keltner channel. And here the Keltner channel is quite, quite important. So right here, just the simple, simple situations. Look at the RSCI, look at the Keltner channel and the whole chart. We are so down. So in one minute, we are just predicting it's gonna be some upward movement for sure. So we just made our bet and we see the result. Mm -hmm. 
so just as I told you. And look at the RSEI. It's coming, coming back because it was at the lowest point. And this Keltner channel showing us being beaten so upward. And got it. Just got it as a profit. And we are already having more than 200 on bank account, starting with the 35. <laughs> So here I am having the situation with the RSEI and the Kelton channel showing us we are getting so upward, but I made my bet for a downward movement. And I want you just to see how it's going to be in 30 seconds or so, just to see what I've been seeing before. So I was actually predicting some highest point. And it actually just because the RSI line, yeah, it was getting upward, but it was a little bit flat. So we are not expecting some so drastic, so drastic change. And I've been thinking that we have this tendency of getting upward, but we are so in the end of this tendency. So we are just predicting it's going to be, you know, like waves. And in that case, you may see that these periods are quite the same with the candles and we just got it and uh, have it as a correct prediction. So let's make it the last one. And I made my bet for a downward movement. And with the RSCI at that period, I got some videos with the RSCIs in the pocket also. It has been more informative, but different uh, strategies, different periods, different combinations. And uh, in that case, I am just expecting it's still gonna be so, you know, a little bit upper, a little bit downward, a little bit more up, a little bit more downward. And I am predicting that, I am expecting that, and we may already see that it's working. But the thing is, we still have enough time, you know, to to it to change. So it may just be bad, it may just be up. But RSCI just here in a moment giving us some info that, but now it started to be more flat. And after it's so flat because we got this, you know, downward movement, it could be a little bit up. And yep, this is what we are detecting. I am just looking at the RSCI and with the RSCI, just, you know, predicting what's going on on the chart. And uh, that's not, you know, like um, your super, I don't know, superpower. This is just the knowledges of indicator and RSCI, I know, you know, like perfectly perfect. So it's done. I don't know, was it easy or not, but it's done. So it's done when it's done. I kind of like that because the end of this trading and was all of that for successful was almost $900. And what about that strategy? Doesn't look like super nice and easy, but if you are so familiar, you know, mm, with these two indicators, you know, being apart, if you know RSCI so well, and you know Calcon Channel so well, you're gonna use it and you're gonna like it because you may, you know, just switch from one indicator to another. And if you are professional or experienced enough, it may be fun. But if you are looking for the perfect combination, this is not the strategy or this strategy, but with different setups. And if you have your thoughts, how can you at least use and change RSCI right here, you can also tell me, or you can ask me, this is what I'm here for. But anyway, we just got it, we just done, and stay tuned, we're gonna get some more.